Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guys YouTube channel. If you like my content, leave a comment down below. Ask me questions, let me know what you liked about it. And hey, click on the little like button. But please, if you want, go ahead and subscribe because it helps my channel out. That way you can stay up to date with all my videos. And if you want, click on the bell icon to get notified. Right? Right? Huh? One out of two. Not bad. Okay, rescue family members. We're out here and we got some people to come see a snake. Uh, we're gonna show them Soraya. This is their first time seeing her. So we'll just get their names and then we'll show you their interaction and we'll give you some thoughts. This video is really good for parents who may be afraid of introducing their kids to snakes uh, because you see we got a variety of ages here, both boys and girls. So this will be really good. And Soraya is, you know, about three years old. She's a decent sized boa constrictor. So this will be good. So if, yeah, I can just get your guys' names and how old you are. So I am nine years old and my name is Layla. I'm Kirsten and I'm 12 years old. I'm Candace and I'm 12 years old. Stop! <laughs> Not Candace! Yeah, okay. So we got 9 through 12. This is going to go really wood. Yeah, Santos. I know what his name was. That's fine. He doesn't want to give his real name. He's incognito. But now everyone knows. So it's too late. The damage has been done. Totally okay, so here we go. We're going to give them Soraya. Aww, she's so cute. That's moving. So you guys know she's, you know, if you go to a snake's face, if you touch them by the nose, they might get a little scared and jump back. Um, but otherwise, 0% chance of being bit because you guys are not rats, nor were you holding rats or smell like them. And if she starts to move away, if you kind of just grab her and pick her back up onto you, and that's all they do is they basically slither. So what are your guys' thoughts? You guys are not scared of snakes, right? No. I've been to a zoo before and I've seen these. But have you got to hold snakes at the zoo? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I pretty sweet. I snake in Australia one time. Oh, okay, excellent. Do you know what kind of snake it was? I think it was like a, I don't really know, but it was like green. It was green? Mm -hmm. So it's probably a green anaconda, Ooh. which was good. Hey. She's a little bit faster. So and when snakes are funny. smaller, when snakes are smaller, they're a little bit, yeah, because they're lighter. That's pretty much it. Um, so what are your thoughts on her? What do you think about, first of all, her pattern, her color? She looks pretty it's, cool. It's cool how like, it, she's like all like the same pattern here and then she just shifts off. Yeah, so, so boa constrictors have a very unique pattern, this hourglass pattern. So this kind of looks like an hourglass or a minute glass it's going down, right? Yeah, exactly. And then though, when it gets to their tail, their tail will have more circles and change in color, either orange, dark red for a red tail boa, or even uh, black for like a normal boa. Do you have any rattlesnakes? I don't have any venomous snakes, that's a great oh. question. Only because when you do rescue work, um, sometimes accidents can happen. You could be bit, and like a bite from a snake like this, you, you wouldn't even feel. But if it was a venomous snake, you know, it just accidents can happen. And so it's not the best. You couldn't free handle a venomous snake like this. Oh, hey. Is this a venomous snake? No. no. So none of you guys are scared. You like the pattern that goes through. I what do you what do you think about her size? I understand how she's pinching and she's stuff. Big for three years old. Yeah. yeah. But then like also like a bit small. Do you compared to the other snakes? Yeah. Do you feel like this is a um a good size for a snake like as a pet or well, this is a good size yeah right yeah. so i would agree because some snakes that are too small like a corn snake to me i feel like you know they're just kind of too small they're kind of boring but then it may be hard for um a mom or dad to agree to get like a python that can get to 20 feet or more 30 feet for their kid but a snake that you can get that will go five feet, six feet, that's a good size because you still feel like it's a big snake. They'll get like a. This. this is good for a starter. This is a good size. She'll get bigger, but a female ball python will get to about this size. And you can still feel really cool when you have it, right? If you show your friends and stuff. Like if you take out a snake like, that's this big here, take her, take her over here. Like if you get out a snake that's that I got big. A snake. Right. It's much better than taking out something that looks like a Twizzler or something. It's mm -hmm. just small and. Right, there's some snakes that are just like a gardener snake. Oh no, I forgot yeah, to like, bring my wooden like, snake toy. I mean, yeah. 
what are some thoughts? Like this, mm -hmm. like would catch people's attention. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Instead of just like a small little Yeah, and some people fungus. would consider this to be a, a big snake, let's say, and it, it really isn't. Do you think your parents would be scared of a snake like this? My mom would definitely she'd be like, would, that's going to yeah, eat the cats. It's going to eat our cats. All you guys' moms? Yeah. My dad, I don't know, really, but my mom. My mom and dad are afraid, so it's okay. Um, of all my reptiles, not just the snakes, so it's fine. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, here's a nice thing about boa constrictors. I don't know if you guys noticed. You know, so they have that pattern, but same thing because you've seen before. If you look at their eye... Their, their pattern goes through their eye. So she's got a line of brown it's kinda like that goes right through her eye. Like... It's pretty cool. Does she see like colors like how like dogs... So snakes, like snakes can see co some colors. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so does anyone know how a snake smells? Their tongue. Their, their tongue. tongue, yeah. Does anyone know what it's called, the organ that's inside their mouth that lets them smell? A tongue. a tongue. That's a very good question. I'm glad you asked. Wrong. Um, it's called a Jacobson organ. It sits right on the top of their mouth. That sounds cool. It's pretty cool. It sits right on the top of their mouth. They stick their tongue out. They get some smells on it. They bring it in. They kind of swirl it around their mouth and then they can smell it. Yeah, so their nose, it's only for breathing, not for smelling, which is pretty cool. Sometimes people don't get that because they'll be like, why is the snake's tongue going crazy? Uh, it's just, oh, she's actually pooping. So careful. She loves to poop outside. This is this is a good no. This is a good learning. This is a good learning because they don't get any poop on them uh, when they poop. So, okay, so this is good. Every you guys come over here so you can see this. This is a good learning uh, ability. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot they like their tail. Like the back of their tail isn't like where they poop from. It's like a little bit. Yes, one hundred percent right. So and actually, she just peed. Um, so she's got an opening. Right about, it's about a uh, two, just over two thirds down their body, um, and all of her organs are up in here, and then they come to the bottom. But so you look, she peed, but there's these giant white blocks, right? So snakes do not pee liquid most of the time. All of their calcium in their body forms these solid white blocks called urate, and then they push out the urate. So that normally means she's just excited. Or she's been moving around. You know, sometimes dogs pee when they get really excited. Except dogs pee liquid. She pees. The nice thing about how snakes poop, though, and pee, is especially when it's outside and they can just keep going. They don't get any of it on their body. It's so it's so clean. It's so nice. It's so nice. You don't have to wipe them up, like a like a like a cat does. Guess come come over here, so we can get away from that. So okay, do you guys have any? So you know how she smells. You know where she poops from now. Um, do you have any questions about her? All right, so why don't we grab, we'll grab one quick shot of each of you holding her um, for the video, and then we'll be all good. Yeah, look how friendly she is. And, I don't know if I want to touch her after just poop. So, so, and just so like people know, and like you guys know, a pet snake, ones you've seen at the zoo, uh, other places. Are they tame? They're much more tame. They're way different than a snake you see in the wild. They're way different than uh, a snake that you've seen in movies, which is completely fake. You know, they make them look real vicious. Uh, so we'll get you guys holding them for, for her for the Santos is going first, holding Soraya. What is your final thought on her? What does she feel like? She feels like a, like a wet pillow. Like a wet pillow. Okay, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> but you're not scared, right? No. And everyone thinks, oh, the snake's on me. It's going to choke me. She's not even trying to choke you, right? All right, he gets a thumbs up. Let's move on. All right, so Kirsten's holding Soraya. What are your final thoughts on her? Um, she's like pretty lightweight, well, and I don't really like. I don't know how she feels. She feels like a snake. <laughs> she feels like a snake. Okay, so not like a wet pillow, just like a snake. But you're not scared. No. And you could see you doing this at your house, like inside your bedroom or something. If you had a pet snake, right? You'd take her out. Yeah. Enrichment. Okay, excellent. And then finally is Layla. Layla, what do you think about holding her? I don't no. You don't have any thoughts? No. Doesn't feel like anything? It just feels like a snake. Just feels like a snake. Okay, good answers. Not a wet pillow? No. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Again, parents, these are kids. They've not just random kids interacting with snakes. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.